Because the numbers that I'm seeing here would appear that we spend a higher percentage of our GDP on our health system than Australia, which is widely regarded as having a, a better health care system. The average salary in the NHS for a junior doctor is much better than the average salary for anyone in the private sector. The rate of progression is much better than anyone in the private sector. The pension is a lot better than anyone in the private sector. Why are they striking? There's a crisis because for far too long the government have failed to adequately fund the NHS. And you just gave us some figures, Patrick, but I'm going to give you two figures that I think anyone watching this program really wants to bear in mind, which is we have an average of 2.8 doctors for every 1,000 people in this country. If we compare ourselves to Germany or France, that actually is not 2.8, but it's actually a figure of 3.7. We're 50% behind. We've got in this country at the moment around 70,000 junior doctors, and of those, we've got vacancies of nearly 8,000. We have a crisis, and, and you can produce as many figures as you want, but the government have allowed the real pay of junior doctors to collapse. I don't want to see a strike starting tomorrow. But I'm having a look at this now. Look, junior doctors, junior, junior doctors, junior doctors uh, start out on a salary of 29,300 uh, to 34,000. A doctor beginning their specialist training will end up on 40,000 to 53,000. In 2020, the UK median salary for full-time workers in the private sector was 30,000 pounds. So when you start training as a junior doctor, look, you are on more money than the you, average salary you, in the UK. What's wrong with that? If you, if you and I were to look around the newsrooms, the journalists of the major newspapers of our country, you would see that that doctor's starting salary compared pretty poorly to the way that people were being paid to report this. No, it doesn't. Money. Absolutely no, it doesn't. My first really salary in journalism was £15,000 a year. My first salary was £15,000 a year. My second salary was £25,000 a year. My third salary was £30,000 a year. And I've been in journalism for about six or seven years at that point. So that is patently not true. 20% pension. That's not bad, is it? No, it patently is true, and you don't like hearing the facts. The fact of the matter is that some junior doctors are actually making barely £14 an hour at the moment. And if you can't see that after all that training, that they have a fair argument, you're not being fair. And one of the most striking statistics of all is that last year, half, half of all the new junior doctors who came in were non-UK nationals. This coming from the same government mm who wants to make it impossible for people to come and work here. They don't have a managed migration policy. They don't have a policy to run the NHS. They have presided over a catastrophe in the NHS in the last few years. OK, With so why can't we change it then? Why, why can't we change it? Because, look, I'm, I'm having a look at this now. It's, look, it's all very well and good you saying that, that it's an absolute catastrophe, OK? But clearly a lot of people do want to come here and work in our NHS. And the reality is that a lot of people who are junior doctors are perfectly happy to get a student loan to train here and then go to Australia, where under a system that people like yourself would not allow us to implement here in the United Kingdom, they can go and earn three times the amount of money and have a better quality of life. So I don't understand where you're really coming from with this. You're almost, you're almost trapping people in this particular system, aren't you? Educational medical tourism that's taking place where the majority of doctors are coming here from Australia in order to hang around for a few years in order the majority of them to go back to Australia. Of course there'll be some. But if you caricature the NHS and its training of doctors in that way, you will fail to understand that these people have a very fair argument. And it's my hunch that the public are going to respond to this by being really worried about how the government, here for the last 13 years, have presided over a continuing crisis in the NHS, in which the salaries of the people who look after us when we all get unwell have fallen so far behind that we have tens of thousands of vacancies mm. of doctors in our hospital. £58,398 a year with a 20% pension after five years in the job. In Europe, it's 3.7. Okay. That's dramatic. OK, look, thank you very, very much. I must say, I have thoroughly really enjoyed that, actually.
Sean there. Right, okay.